Furniture, clothing, bikes, construction fittings and footwear are among thousands of products making their way south from Whangarei in a Christmas convoy. The products are in 1,200 containers which have been offloaded at Northport due to the lengthy and ongoing hold-ups at the ports of Auckland. The smaller Northport stepped up to take the cargo and hundreds of trucks are now ferrying the containers south. That's added to an already stressed road. Our Cameraman Simon Rogers and reporter Nita Blake Person headed north to see how it's all going. The truck trips began early this morning with cargo stacked and ready to go for drivers from 6 a.m. We start, normally started at 6:30 in the morning, but today I started at 4. Maybe I come back for the second run. It's hard, little bit hard, because there is uh, I don't know about the traffic conditions. But it's a good experience. Uh, this is Christmas stuff. The containers are full of everything from building supplies to bikes and bedroom furniture. It's the biggest shipment Northport's ever seen. Usually destined for the ports of Auckland, staffing shortages and ongoing automation issues mean it would have had to wait two and a half weeks to get in. Drivers today said things were cruising along nicely. Oh, it's working. People are helpful. Staff is really good. Yeah. <laughs> Another container hitting the road full of Christmas gear. That's one of hundreds which will be leaving here over the coming days. 800 truck trips in total with 1,200 containers coming off this port and heading straight to Auckland. Many truckies will be making two trips a day and some say it's not a particularly smooth drive. Unbelievably stupid. It's rough, lots of roadworks. It's the first time I've been up here and probably three years and it's, it's de deteriorated quite badly. Several roadworks projects, pedestrian crossings and busy intersections mean motorists are being warned to take extra care as the truckloads will continue for at least the next week from 6am to midnight, with Sunday being the only exception. Senior Sergeant Lex Sugnall says police are just south of Northport to do driver and vehicle checks. Uh, hey, the majority of truck drivers and their operating firms are very safety conscious. I guess this is just a check to make sure uh, everything's right. Um, we're stopping all heavy motor vehicles, uh, as many as possible, um, and checking the whole routine because the last thing we want is a, is a crash at this time of year involving a truck which will ultimately close the road down for long periods of times, which will affect everyone. And they've had to pull up a few already. Oh, I'd say most of the containers will definitely get there. Um, issues we are finding as small things like uh, basic maintenance that they should be doing, tyres, things like that. Um, the, there's some weight issues where the containers are too heavy for the vehicles that are being carried or they're not permitted, which is all stuff that should be cleared in a couple of hours. Um, but it's just enhancing the road safety risks that we've got, particularly over the Bren Derwins and... Uh, Dome Valley and those sort of high-risk crash areas. The effect of the trucks are already being felt at towns along the route and Wellsford, the already clogged main road, just got a whole lot busier. Everyone's worried about the roads, obviously, because they're already a bit broken up. But, um, I mean, it's good to see sort of movement and activity and business still happening. Um, lots and lots of shipping containers. I work at the pharmacy just here and every, like, I don't know, five, ten minutes I see a shipping truck go through and... Big ones. <laughs> yeah. Logging trucks and container trucks um, on the highway to Helensville, yeah. A very busy day. It has been. Road was the only option for the freight with the Whangarei to Auckland rail line out of action for upgrades. But Whangarei's mayor is hopeful a successful few days will prove Northport's abilities to take bigger loads in the future. Something of a Christmas freight miracle in a year of container chaos. <laughs> For Checkpoint, Cornita Blakeperson, Aho.